The system gives the user three levels of control of the stylization – object space, image space and hybrid space. We will talk about these different levels of control throughout the tutorials. Let us begin with object space control. The object space shader is designed as an easy-to-use painterly shader, directly assigned to the scene objects. Using this shader is important, as it is currently the only way to support hybrid space localized stylization effects. The simplest way to create and assign the object space shader is using the prep tool, which is the blue splatter tool in the WC shelf. Once you click on the prep tool, a mini shelf will appear, containing three prep sub-tools. The first one will create and assign one object space watercolor shader to all selected objects. The second one will create and assign different object space watercolor shaders for each of your selected objects. The third one will clear the non-deformer construction history created by the previous tools, cleaning up your mesh. This is not a necessary step, but it does keep your meshes clean and improve performance. Once the objects have been prepped and object space shaders have been created and assigned, you will see the default blue color and stylization values. By using the prep tools, the stylized viewport override in Maya will automatically activate itself. Keep in mind though, that even when unprepped objects and their shaders look stylized, they need to be prepped to fully take advantage of the system and the hybrid space controls. This type of control is explained in another tutorial. The created shaders can be found in the hypershade and in the attribute editor of each object. However, the easiest way to access them individually is using the tool to show material attributes, which is the yellow circle with the horizontal elements. Select the objects that you wish to modify and use the tool to automatically select its shader. In the shader, you will find three sections regarding general shading, painterly shading, and level of detail. In the shading section, you can enable and modify the color, normals, and specularity of the material. The color texture of the shader can be enabled and assigned. The color texture will be tinted per the assigned color tint, so make sure to set it to white if you don't want to have any color tint over it. The color tint serves as the shader color if no texture is applied. Normal maps can also be enabled and assigned with a bump modifier to adjust the strength. Specular maps can also be enabled and assigned. The specular rolloff controls the size of the specularity the diffusion controls the sharpness of the specular highlight and the transparency its intensity. Shadows are by default enabled, with a bias parameter in case it's needed. In the painterly shading section, you can set the custom painterly attributes of the shader. Diffuse factor affects how diffuse the reflectance should be. Zero creates a flat shading, whereas one gives you the full diffuse behavior. Shade color affects the color of the shaded parts, either as an override, which is the default, or as a tint. Shade wrap is used to override the shading behavior and force shade from the back to the front. Dilute paint will dilute the lit areas towards a paper color. When using textures, you will find yourself reducing this parameter a lot, as you will probably already have set lighter albedo colors where required. Cangiante will shift the lit areas towards a brighter hue. Dilute area will set the area of effect for dilute and cangiante behaviors. Highlight area and its transparency will override the shading to create a white highlight. This highlight is different than the specular highlight, as it does not depend on the view direction and remains fixed to the light direction. In the final sections, you can set additional attributes that control the level of detail and additional experimental object space effects. Atmosphere color sets a custom fading color per shader, which is controlled by the start and end distance parameters found in the adjacent attributes. Darkened edge, found under the additional object space effects group, is an experimental attribute that creates object space darkened edges at silhouettes and at specular highlights. This concludes the tutorial on object space stylization control. Make sure to learn how the image space stylization works and how to paint stylization effects using the hybrid space effects.